In this video, I'm going to be taking three maps from Star Wars Battlefront and turning them into LEGO Star Wars mocks. The first map that I've chosen is the Tatooine Junlin Wastes Walker Assault map. I started out by outlining the general layout that I want to follow for this mock, and then I quickly moved on to working on the grills and grates that we see in the ground of Tatooine in Battlefront 2015. I'm using 2x4 wedge plates to have two of these grills at an angle to add in a little bit more interest to the mock. And then I quickly tiled and plated off the rest of the groundwork. And then in the corner of the mock, I'm adding in a rebel defense turret because in the map, there is one kind of sitting out in front of the doorway that I'm going to build. So I'm using various sloped pieces, curved slopes in white to get the round shape. Then I quickly just added on the top piece and then the barrel. And then I quickly plated and tiled off the back of the mock. And then it was time to work on the door. I had a technique in mind that I wanted to try out for the door, which was using jumper plates and tiles with some snot bricks, which gives a little bit of an indent, which looks very similar to what we see in the game. And then for the rock work, I didn't want to do regular up and down rock work because I feel like it doesn't really look all that similar to what we see in Battlefront 2015. So what I did was I started making this snot, which basically means that all those slopes were on their sides and it gives a more horizontal texture, and especially with mixing in different colors, the dark tan patches kind of look like the layers in the rock, which I actually really like the way that this works. So I did the left and the right sides, and then I connected them on the top. And then moving on to the back, I just wanted to do a white room because that's kind of what we see in the game. And I didn't really want to go crazy with the details in this room because it's not really the focal point. So I just built up some white walls and dividers like we see in the game and added in different panel pieces to add in texture. And then all that was left is just finishing up the top and connecting the rock section to the back of the wall. And then finished off the top section with various slopes and plates and tiles. Overall, I'm really happy with how this mock turned out. I think I captured the look and feel of the Battlefront map very well. And I'm especially happy with the way that the door looks. I think that the subtle indents with the tiles and jumper plates emulate the door design very well. And especially when they're put next to the kind of snot rock work with the dark tan patches and the layered effect that it gives. And then moving to the ground, I think that the grills add in a nice touch, especially with the two of them being angled to the sides. It definitely helps make this mock not feel quite as rigid. And then the defense turret too, I'm actually really proud of this. It was pretty simple to throw it together with just a bunch of the curved slopes in white. And then I had that top piece from one of the Tatooine sets that just kind of fit in perfectly how I needed it to. So I'm actually really proud of that. And then I think the interior does its job well enough. I wasn't really focusing on this too much. I just wanted to kind of have a little bit of something going on behind the door. And this is similar to what we see in the game. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I just threw in some minifigures, kind of populating it similar to what you'd expect from a typical game of Walker Assault. For the next build, I chose Sullust and more specifically the Sulphur Fields map. I started off by working on the water substance that we see a lot of on Sullust. I built it by using trans light blue plates and tiles, and then I quickly made a border and structure for the rest of the mock and started working on the shoreline. This I built using a bunch of different gray wedges and slopes to get that kind of rocky texture. And then I started working on the tan outline around the rocks. This is one of my favorite parts of Sulphur Fields. I feel like the colors are just so unique and it really stands out. And then went on to the medium nougat, which is the base color. And I used a bunch of different plates and tiles, just giving it a little bit of texture and stayed primarily flat with a couple raised sections mixed in. And then I started outlining where I wanted the two rock structures to be. And then I started on the rock using a bunch of different dark bluish gray slopes and using the snot technique, just quickly built up a kind of rounded corner structure for this one on the left. And then towards the top, I added in some more of that tan and the medium nougat color. And then I went to the other rock, which is the same kind of deal with the tan at the bottom. This one took a lot more time and it was a little bit more difficult so we used a bunch of different pieces as well as techniques to get this to the shape that I was happy with. But eventually I got there and then just going around the top was more of that tan and medium nougat for the terrain. And then as the last part of the mock, I started digging out a little crater for where the drop pod is going to go. And for the drop pod, I went for a similar technique as the defense turret. And then I added in a couple pieces kind of sticking off and then the three engines all the way at the back. And then all that was left was to add in the minifigures and a few finishing touches. 
This mock turned out about as well as I expected it to. I think the biggest drawback is the drop pod, but the terrain colors came out great, and I'm really happy with the transition between the rocks and the ground. I think that adding in the few tan slopes here and there really helped out there. This is definitely the most vibrant of the three mocks, and overall I'm just really happy with the way that this thing came out. And for the final mock, I'm going to do a Hoth Echo Base. This is going to be the entrance, and it's pulled a little bit from the survival map, but primarily it's taken from the walker assault. So the first thing that I did was just the quick border around the edges, and then I quickly moved on to working on the grates. Hoth has the same kind of grates as Tatooine, so I wanted to have the same kind of thing where they're at the angles with the wedge plates, but this time I used the two x three wedges to get a little bit different of an angle. So I figured that out quickly and then went on to working on the rest of the landscape. I have a very limited selection of small pieces in white, so I was trying to make it look as good as I could with a very limited selection of pieces, which is just always difficult. But I think it did a pretty good job with what I had. And then it was time to start working on the base. So the first thing I did was try to make the kind of teeth that we see in episode five. And then I started working on making the mountain. This was a lot more difficult than the rock work that I did in the other two because I wanted to have all of the color transitions and patches. And then I started working on connecting the two halves. And then the last thing on the mock to tackle was the interior. So I quickly plated everything off and then tiled it. And then I wanted to start working on the main kind of vehicle, the Rebel Hoth transport speeder. So this came together actually pretty simply. I knew that I wanted to use these two by three slopes to kind of make that shape. And overall, I actually really liked the way that this thing came out. So with the speeder done, all I had left to do was add in the minifigures and some crates here and there. This is definitely the best out of the three mocks that I built. I'm actually really happy with how this one came out and I might leave it together on display on my desk. I was pleasantly surprised with how well this thing came together. And obviously there are a few things that I would change, but overall for the amount of pieces that I had in white, I think I was able to do a really good job with this. And I think the addition of the little Hoth speeder in the back is a nice touch and adds a lot to the background of the mock. So I'm actually really pleased with how this one turned out. That's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. Was it the first build, which was Tatooine? The second one, which is the Sulphur Field or Sullust? Or the third one, which was obviously the Hoth Echo Base? For me, it's gotta be the Hoth Echo Base. I think this was the best one overall, just in terms of techniques and the overall look. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And if you guys are interested in more kinds of videos like this, I have a few more that you can watch here on the screen. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.